Thank you, John, and I am here with two of the top performers from the RMU women's track and field team, Estelle Katende and Sam Buck. Estelle, Sam, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Hi, Thanks for having us. So, Estelle, you won gold in shot over in the NEC track and field championships. Sam, you won in weighted throws. We'll start with you, Estelle. Just kind of take us through, you won on your final throw. So kind of take us through what was going into that final throw and the emotions after you found out that you won gold. So um, just before that, I was really nervous because uh, I was second and last year in my freshman year, I finished second and I didn't want to finish second again. So I was really nervous and very focused too. So when I entered in the circle, I was really f focused and when I threw, I knew it was far, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't think it was 15. And when they said one five, I screamed and like, I embraced my, my friends and like my coach and all these. It was nice. I was really happy, but I, um, I kind of knew like what I was going to do. So I was happy, but not that much. So Sam, on the other side, you actually got yours on your first throw and kind of, you didn't even know, go, I was talking to you before, you had no idea that you even won. Yeah. So kind of go through what happened with you. Well, on my first throw, I knew it was far, but I had only heard the 15. And then as the competition went on, the Wagner girl who ended up coming second, and the last throw, she ended up throwing a 15. And again, I didn't hear what the centimeters mark was. So when I threw, I unfo unfortunately faulted. Um, but then when they were telling us who came ninth and they went up, um, they paused after third. And I was like, I don't know if I came first, if I came second. I figured I'd come second because this girl had been throwing well over 17, and then she just didn't. And then her name was called first, and then mine. And I kind of fell over in like a gasp of relief. And it's my first NEC one, so. A golden shot. And so both of you, I want to talk about real quick here that we have a lot of athletes from the Army track and field team across the United or across the entire world. Estelle and Sam, you both had success in your own home countries, Estelle in France, Sam in Canada. Talk about the success that you've had back home. So I started track when I was six, but I really started to perform when I was 16. I started with, um, at 16, I went to the national for the first time, but I kind of messed up. Then at 17, I finished first in shot and second in discus uh, for the national under 18. Then for, um, at 18, um, I finished second in out indoor and in outdoor for a shot, and I, this year I finished first for shot and third for discus. So right now in France, where is your ranking currently? We were talking about that before. Right now I'm in under 20, uh, under 23, so I think I'm second. In second in France. That's yeah. Pretty good mark for you. And Sam, on the other side, you've had a lot of success in Canada too. Talk about that from beforehand and something, some of future plans coming up. Um, well, unlike Estelle, I started late. I started in grade nine, um, and that was just on our high school team. And then I did well at provincials, what we call OFSA. And then through there, I ended up joining a club team. And then from there, I was recruited here. Um, I've had a few national titles. Um, I've done well here in NECs. Um, in terms of future plans, there's this competition that is the University Games, which is this year being hosted somewhere in Italy, that I'm hoping to make. I have to qualify, so I have to throw a certain distance. I'm hoping to make it in Hammer, which is outdoors. Um, once I make that standard, I have to go to Nationals, come top two in Nationals, and then a committee will pick who they want to go. So the stakes are high, but I'm hoping and praying that I make it. So you talked a lot about indoor and outdoor. What are the biggest differences between indoor track and field and outdoor track and field? Mm. The weight. Yeah, <laughs> the, the weight that we throw. Uh, so indoors, we throw weight, which if you're familiar with the shot, it's a circle ball that weighs about 4.4 pounds. Outdoors, weight throw turns into hammer, which is a lighter ball. It goes farther. I like it because it goes farther. Instead of 15 meters, I throw 50 meters. Um, so that's the biggest difference, but then you also have the spear, which is javelin, and then discus. So you have the longer throws outdoors and the shorter throws indoors. And for like the track, like the track is just smaller. They usually run like 200, 400, and 800, but the track is um, a 200 track, so they run more laps. So thank you so much. We'll look forward to both of you guys in the outdoor games coming up in the spring season. Sam, Estelle, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thanks thank for you. having us. And we will go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, John and Jack have their games to watch here on the Colonial Sports Center.